Welcome back. All right, so Wearing Ducks again. Second time today as Troy Terry has signed a seven-year deal. So let's take a look at this. It's a seven-year deal, $7 million per season. So not the $8 million he was looking for, but it also avoids an arbitration case. Uh, he's 25 years of age. He was a number 148 pick in 2015. And it's an interesting contract. It's seen widely as a pretty solid deal, dollar for dollar. He didn't make his debut in the NHL until 2017-2018, just played two games. The following season, 32 games, four goals, nine assists, 13 points. Slow, but, you know, not every player comes in and just takes over the league right away. 2019-2020, played 47 games, four goals, 11 assists, 15 points. And then in 2020-2021, 48 games, seven goals, 13 assists, 20 points. And there were really good moments for him during those first few seasons. Uh, but there was a, 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 you know, a debate about what his ceiling was and what he might do. Well, 2021-2022 plays 75 games, 37 goals, 30 assists, 67 points. All-star game appearance for him that season. An all-star game appearance for him this past season as well, where he played 70 games, 23 goals, 38 assists, 61 points. So the goals dropped this past season. The assists went up. And his points per game stayed roughly the same. Now, it is important to Anaheim that he produces because in wins, he does. 22 games, 9 goals, 17 assists, 26 points. So 22 of the games he played were wins. In losses, 38 games played, 9 goals. So again, 16 more games, but still just 9 goals. 16 assists, 25 points. So one less point in 16 extra games played. In overtime or shootout losses, 10 games played, 5 goals, 5 assists, 10 points. Generally speaking, when Troy Terry produces, Anaheim wins. Uh, and this is, this is the case with a lot of star players around the NHL, but it does show that Troy Terry is a key guy for them. Now, he was a minus 8 this past season, and plus minus normally doesn't mean a lot, but there is something to look at here when you look at it comparatively speaking with other Ducks players who played a lot. Uh, Zegers was a minus 24. Young forward, it does take them a while, usually, in order to figure out the defensive side of it. Cam Fowler was a minus 23, played a ton of minutes. Strom was a minus 30, Vitrano was a minus 29, and McTavish was a minus 19. So in light of those numbers, the minus 8 for Troy Terry was pretty good. And again, his overall numbers are, are solid. His 23 goals actually tied for the team lead with Trevor Zegers, who is still out there as a restricted free agent, as is Jamie Drysdale. What that deal does is it puts uh, Anaheim now above the cap floor. They were below the cap floor coming into today. They now have $20,185,833 left under the cap. Uh, they still have, as I said, Zegers and Drysdale to sign, but that shouldn't be a problem. The one thing I wonder with uh, Terry, he signs the seven-year deal. He's 25 years of age. Might he be the next captain of the team? Uh, the captaincy in Anaheim has been vacant since Getzlaff retired a couple years back. And so we'll see whether or not, um, well, a year ago. So anyways, uh, we'll see whether or not the Ducks go into this season without a captain or maybe upon signing a seven-year deal, maybe Terry's the next guy right uh, again 25 years of age good solid scorer long-term contract he would be a decent pick yes cam fowler would be a decent pick as well and there are probably a couple of others you could make the argument for with the anaheim ducks uh who again went without a captain this past season did they do that this season as well we shall see let me know your thoughts in the comment section below regarding this contract for troy terry and whether you feel like yeah seven million is a fair cap hit or is it too much is it is it a bargain for, for Troy Terry? And again, uh, they're they're probably banking on him getting back to the 30-goal range, which if Anaheim's offense gets better, yeah, he'll end up being around the 30-goal range, I would think. Maybe as high as that 37 career high. He was close to 40, and maybe he has a 40-goal season in him at some point during this contract as well. I like Troy Terry. I think he's a solid player. His down season, somewhat down season with Anaheim this past year, a lot of Ducks had down years. So they're betting on a bounce back, and we'll see how it goes. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. For all your support, I will talk to you again soon.